but I still think it's really cool. I think Red Truth is great. You're great, because man. The thing with a uh, with a story like this is that you come up with like this immense list of possibilities, and then it just starts whittling them down so that you can narrow your focus. The problem is, in order to stretch it out to eight episodes, you have to like pad it out with other stuff, which so far has not been the worst thing. The magic is pretty bad. Um, the backstory, like with Maria, is fine. Yo, Cactus, are you gonna watch that Violet Evergarden shit? I heard that's like a Netflix fucking exclusive one or some shit. I mean, I'm sure it'll be still around on the internet, but... I didn't know they were picking up, like, seasonal fucking brand new shit that weren't, like, dubbed. People seem to like the first episode of that. They put it, like, seasons ago as a fucking seasonal anime, but it's not actually airing until this season. I hope it's good. I need to finish the uh, shoujo one you recommended me. I like it so far a lot. I don't know what to watch next. Maybe the Friends one. I kind of want to watch uh, My Hero Academy though. Because it's pretty popular, but it's just kind of long. I need to wrap up Gintama too. I think the last season's coming out. But they say that every Gintama season. That's kind of like a running gag. Like, this is the last season. They end it. And then the next season, they just call it a joke. So it's like, I don't know Wait. if it's actually the end. This piece of shit on this video cut 30 seconds from the beginning and 10 seconds from the end to fit it on YouTube? Are you serious? Hmm? A U arrange. What is a U? U. Can you not do over ten minutes? Naturally, or is this like old as fuck? Oh, the Higurashi main song. Is that popping in like 5 or 3 8? It's definitely I... later on. Well, then I won't have reference for this. Of course, the download links are Mediafire from 8 years ago and they're dead. Fuck. I'll put this on my good tunes list and then tell myself <laughs> I'll find it someday. But I never will. Ugh. I like my man's beat drops. I always do. I'll keep listening, but we're already going so slow on Higurashi. I'll come back. Come back when I've heard the song. The up next video on YouTube of Beatrice at a piano. Wahoo! <laughs> it's fan art, I can tell. So it looks like shit. But no, it looks pretty good, actually. Oh. Hope. Not a bad mix. 
but all the downloads are fucking dead. Oh well. Is it a photographer guy or is it a trick? Oh, it's detective dude. Is that who this is? Who looks horrible in the original, right? I think, right? Super intense P drop for Clonot range, huh? It's fucking Oishi. It's Oishi. 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 Swear to me. <laughs> it's like some doing like a whirlpool. <laughs> Where's fucking rage? Why is there? <laughs> Did he's drowning and come? Ah. Why is there a tractor outside the fucking school, man? Ongoing construction. Are you fucking also, kidding me? Also, so nothing we can hide bodies in it. Oh, I was like, there's nothing being constructed at this school. Dude. Detective Delicious. <laughs> Just like you me. wait. Just you wait. I forget where it is. But they mentioned this tractor at some point in reference to something, and I was like, oh, everything's fine now. Oh. Huh. I think. I think they do. I might be making it up. Did you just fucking spoil me, Goto? No. I didn't want to know about the origins of this tractor yet, Goto. No. <laughs> I'm not making it up. They do address it. I'm not an asshole like you, so it's okay. Meh. Nah. <laughs> I kid, I, I kind of kid. Dude, the only reason I fucking blow the fuck out of anyone who mentions anything to me is because they might get comfortable mentioning stuff and then start mentioning more stuff and it's too late to take it back. I know, I know. Well, it's best to set the ground rules if you've got the standards. I need ground rules set. I, I need agree. To be a hard ass. I agree usually. I need to destroy cactus. If I'm really into something, I don't tend to want to know. But Higurashi, it's I'm like I kill cactus. It's like I kind of know some things on Higurashi, and the mystery is not terribly interesting me right now. So it's like not a huge deal. Small shit's not a big deal. I was playing like Chaos Baby. I'd be pissed. That tractor could be the killer. I'm usually on the same, wa same wavelength with you on shit, so... Dude. I figure if you mention the tractor, it ain't really gonna matter. Even for theory crafting before I think about Dude. it. What do you even know about the mystery so far? What are you thinking? Are yeah. you not having... Are you not entertained? Are you asking me a serious question, or is this... It sarcastic? Is You're sarcastic. It is serious. There's obviously not much going on yet. Okay, so there's Leader XX. He's gone. There's deaths on the fucking everyday or whatever the fuck of Oyashima's fucking cursey festival. Oyashiro sama. Oyashiro sama. And they have a shitload of foreshadowing about murder in their little text, but it doesn't really mean anything for Mystery Solomon. Unless I'm supposed to assume her saying axe and poison and shit like that in reference to her carrying out axes earlier is like saying showing their minds already like twisted, like who knows, man. It's it's there's nothing. I mean they don't want to talk about the murders. Maybe their daddy's told them not to, man. Taboo. Just feels like small town taboo shit right now. Dead. 
Oh, dude, fucking photo man died, dude. Tomitake! Didn't they all die in couples already? Yes. No. They told me already, got him. They did die in couples. Some people mi are missing, though. Asking you because you're a fucking outsider, bro. Oh, yeah, Shiro Sama. How many times am I gonna hear Oh, yeah, Shiro Sama in this fucking VN, dude? Oh, baby. It's gonna be at least 10,000, I feel like. Spooky sound. Ruin. I remember something about drugs. Dude's fucking probably got around him and hit him with some drugs. Dude, I am so surprised you don't remember more. Holy fuck. I, I mean, it seems like you're doing a lot of shit. Not really. They don't... This, this episode's in one episode of the anime. What the hell? Well, I know, like, the super exciting parts. 
There's no way. Or was it a more than a couple? One fucking episode. It's been nine years. I watched it in like two days, like nine years ago, man. Yeah, but there's like 60 episodes in the anime. Shouldn't it be like five episodes to an episode? Uh, I thought the first episode was pretty damn... Covered him dying. If it was more than that, it wasn't much. Like Silence says, I mean, you find out Shion's twin in like the third episode or some shit. Or fifth or something. Four? That's not many. It was always one that didn't resonate a whole lot with me. I didn't care about it as much as other ones I watched back to back around then. I was just chain watching anime, so if I liked others a lot more than I just it was kind of whatever. Maybe my past self knew, man, that I'd play it someday and would gain greater enjoyment. I was playing the VN. Oh yeah, just in case um, episode 4 didn't make it clear, I think that the reason that this entire like death game is happening is because of Battler. Um, 
like when Beatrice showed up in episode four, it was very clearly, hey, you committed a sin and that's why all this is happening. I think it's specifically because he came back that year that it happened that year and not before. Like there's no other motive except for him, I think. So if he committed this sin and doesn't remember it, then it probably wasn't him. Um, I don't know for sure on that. Maybe he dumped the girl, and the girl was Beatrice, who had a dick. All I heard was dick. Yes. Yeah. How can I help you? I heard the best. from the Okinomiya Okinomiya prison Kudatan <laughs> fucking Christian this cop sounds like a typical horny middle aged man horny for that Cute young boy. Hate you thinks he is, man. Dude, do people's throats just get itchy, right, Emily? I guess a little bit, no more than any other body part, right? Well, the only time I throw maybe get to cheese is because it's weird. That's usually what I am when I shave it, because it's annoying. When this guy don't shave. Hey man, it's only like two or three days. It's not bad, man. The lighting makes it look worse. He's self-conscious. Says the man who can't even have his fucking mic on free talk. Dude. You would understand if you were here. I'm sure I would. I'm just trying to give you shit, man. Says ah! the man who hides himself behind pieces of paper and pictures. Yeah. It's like... It's I best not it. to have your face on the internet ever. You can help Whoa. You're judging me? This is the only place I have it. I mean, everyone already knows your real name is Kyle Hyde. <laughs> Fuck! Cover's blown. I'm blown, dude. Wait, wait, what? Uh, dude, Fasto, did you play Hotel Dusk? Dude, play Hotel Dusk. At least for the Kyle Hyde memeage. One of the best main characters ever, dude. The rest is alright. And I guess the DS book mode's interesting. Mm -hmm. Especially on an emulator because it's like full screen. The second one's pretty cool, but it's so hard to emulate because of a couple dual touch. Oh, you did play it. Oh, you're here during the condo oh puzzle? God, I fucking hate that puzzle. condo puzzle, dude. Oh my god, he was so bad at it. It was great. What? It took dude. me a bit. That was the only one that took me a bit, though. Yeah, I know, but you got fucked. Yeah. Can you blame me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, man. Everybody's got puzzles that get stuck on that. I usually go through puzzles pretty quick, like latent ones and stuff. Easy on me, man. I was like, I'm gonna go to judging like my entire being from like one moment. I have to like make counter examples. Mm 
<sighs> he took a while on this one puzzle. He must be a fucking retard. He's fucking playing Higurashi. He must be a fucking retard. <laughs> what does that say about the man who recommends it to me? King of retards? That he's a fucking mastermind. Oh, you're creating retards or fish <laughs> fishing them out, dude? <laughs> Complex motives, my man. Did you just huck a loogie at your monitor when you laughed there? Oh my god, I was so loud. I just listened to it on the on the playback. I'm sorry, that was way too loud. I didn't think it was bad at all. The fuck? It was loud for the stream. Oh, I didn't think so. The rare time we can actually hear Goto laugh. It's always a stoic, untouchable soul because of his push to talk. I'm just like forming retards. <laughs> it's like with your army. I just imagine like yeah, on an altar like behind it, like I can't plant any in the ground. Mine retards! Or like Pikmin. You can pick me out. I'm like yeah. drooling. Like, fucking throw you <laughs> on a little fucking plant. You just throw me at like VNs. See that Uminako? You fucking picked it up and bring it back. This fucking picture of Uminako and monitors. Throw me at it. This is my argument. I really want to play Karno Shoujo. I saw a background for it yesterday in the atmosphere. I was digging it. You know has the fucking censored version. Apparently the 2017 PS4 and Vita release censored. And the art didn't look different in the one background I saw. The censored looked really stupid for the scenes that were censored, but... I don't know how important the sex is. I mean, I know there's a lot. And there's a lot of romance, but... The power. Surely it's to not. Mind sap. And a retard. <laughs> yeah, a mind sap would be good. Maybe that's why my memory of Higurashi is gone. As soon as Goto started recommending it, he just like sapped my <sighs> memories of it. I can fucking bloodborne the fucking brain suckers, dude. I'm just like, ah. that hey man. That night he sucks me. I haven't gotten the brain head. sucked yet. Don't spoil. You've seen the fucking brain suckers, dude. I have. Shut up, then. I've actually <laughs> fought, like, two of them. Okay, so you might never see it, then, if you kill them all. There's not that many. But they respawn. Yeah, but are you gonna just fucking go back all the time for shits when to fight them? Bloodborne's pretty much all about going back, dude. That's what you think is we got lost as fuck in that zone, dude. No, I mean, like, with the moon phases and stuff, you reach right the same levels. Eh. I mean, there's retreading for side shit, for sure, but... Yeah. I mean, they definitely change enemy placements on stuff, but... Did you ever continue on? After you did the doggy? Oh. Okay. I was doing PC stuff all day today, so I'm set on my PC. I'm good. I really hope you get fucked by the witches, dude. <laughs> it's like the worst feeling. Oh, the witches? Dude. It's so rare to die by them, but when you do it, it's like yeah, the worst The only feeling. bosses I've died to so far, I died to Parl once, and I died to Dog. Champion Fire Doggo once. Dude, Fire Doggo late game chalices is like one of the like I feel like you need four people or it's gonna really suck fucking cock. Like his variants are always cheesy as fucking shit. I don't know if you consider that a spoiler Dude, that they're they reused that, bosses and um, chalices. They say the chalice dungeons are randomly generated. Is only the true? only the roots are randomly generated. Okay, I thought so, because I've seen Chalice Dungeons, and they always seem yeah. the same to me. Yeah, um, yeah, only Roots, and you can take other people's chalice, Root Chalice Dungeons and use them. So, like, if somebody found a weapon within one room or something, if you have that glyph, their exact Chalice Dungeon, you can just go get that weapon right there. It's, it's seated. But yeah, only the Roots, and you only unlock the Roots usually after you finish a particular area, like the... Hinterlands or something. I don't know which one I you're mean, on. 
I'm definitely liking Bloodborne so far, but I'm down to like eight blood vials, so I had to buy some. It's the first time I bought any. Yeah. I really don't like the blood vial system. It's really bad. It's the only flaw, I think. And late game, it's not a flaw, because you just can get shit easy. The cost of blood vials never gets so high that like it stays with the yeah, soul. Yeah, I didn't stock up on them when they were 200. They raised to 360. If you really want to get them easy... Yeah, I know where to farm. Okay. I had a few spots. I've definitely got, like, one spot that's real quick to get, like, four of them. What do you do? do some Chunk of Souls. Oh, the two retard giants before the first boss. I used to do them a lot. I do the yeah. two or three wolves before Cleric Beast, but that's really risky. They kick your ass. Yeah. But they drop, wolves. like, I can, no, dude, I can a lot them of souls. easy in, like, three hits. That one's not bad. There's a, right before Gas Coin, there's a guy who always drops shit, but that one's kind of slow. But it's like low risk as fuck, and you can just go right back to that. Yeah, I don't care that much. If I need to farm them, I'll probably just choose not to farm them and then run through areas like a fucking madman. Yeah. Instead, just sacrifice like a level or two and just buy them. It'll feel better. You don't need the levels as much as you think. It's more skill yeah. in Bloodborne. It looks like I'm not doing decks, dude. I've just been raising strength so I can get more scaling out of my saw cleaver. I like the saw cleaver. It's really good. Yeah. It's really fun. Bloodborne's one of the few games I feel like it's really easy to do, like a huge quality build. Like I had full arcane skill and strength and health and stamina. I mean, after a few playthroughs, sure, games. but it's not that hard to do. Like if you still wanted to do the memes, which lets you do the Rakio and the Scythe, because those all scale off arcane as well. They're all skill and arcane, then like, you could. It's not hard. Okay, so after 25 strength, you see diminishing returns, then after 50 is the soft cap. Yeah. Same for skill. Blood tinge, I don't give a fuck. Arcane, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Arcane, you should. If you Vitality, care about any of those um, weapons. Diminishing returns at 30, soft cap at 50. And then endurance soft cap forty. Cool. So go for fifty vitties, forty endies, and then strength or skill two if I want. Yeah, the sock cleaver is two things. Most weapons scale pretty well off of two shots. Sock cleaver is actually three. It's got um, D rank strength scaling right now, E rank skill, and then like D rank arcane. Oh. I mean, the, technically, the Blades of Mercy have three as well, but there's one that's like always like so bad, it's not even, you shouldn't even think about it. Blades of Mercy, I, I would like to use them. They seem cool, but I've seen people use them before, and I've already invested in strength, so I'm just like, man, I really enjoy the Sawclay remove set. Then just do it. All the I'm weapons are really it. fun. No, they're not. Well, they're better than fucking the Souls weapons, dude. There's like actually an ounce of depth to them. Kane. It's better than a lot of Souls weapons still, dude. Fuck you, Leather Man. Dude, the Kane Club is three blocks and the Gentleman's Club. Sorry, boy, that's been the slowest Higurashi, like, last hour ever, but it's also, like, the most dry shit outside of, uh, the detective part. Higurashi, definitely. Episode 1, the Slice of Life, I was like, okay, let's just get through this. I know there's gonna be a Slice of Life, and then it got good, and I was like, cool. I know they're building character, but I feel like they can maybe actually build character and cut some of the games out. Yeah. Like some of the games, I feel like you cut one game out and just make that like character development, like talking with them individually or something. Yeah. Like a walk from school, home from school. Like them That'd just doing nice. comedy, it's the same thing every time. Like, yeah, it's more, you're having more fun, but I think there's stronger ways you could develop them with the time yeah. given. The start of episode two in Igarashi made me want to fucking die. Granted, I do think the shit's funny. I actually, I'm going to smile out of them, but like, at this point, I'm just like, alright, dude. 
whilst they either have some funny parts or move on. Like, this was kind of what a... It sucks yeah. that our boy died. I mean, he'll be back, so I don't really care that much. Oh, no, you can't say that. His life is precious. <laughs> you think life is precious? How mistaken, how childish and naive of you. Life is nothing. I want to see what they look like creepy. I've never seen these sprites creepy. They're very cutesy compared to the other art styles. So it should be pretty drastic, I hope. Fucking <laughs> power to retard hack, dude. <laughs> so true. Takes one to no one. Here we go, baby, again. So what are they playing right now? I'm totally spacing on the game. Is it like Clue or something? Or like some bullshit? It, yeah, it's not Clue. It's Clue but not Clue. Starring Tim Curry. Dude, I love Tim Curry, man. I fucking love that movie. That movie's so good. If Tim Curry wasn't in it, it'd probably be shit though. That's real. I mean, I made the movie. It's so good. I want to play Command and Conquer just for Tim Curry, like which whatever one he's in. I think it was Red Alert. I'm going to the one place where capitalism can never find me. <laughs> Spice. <laughs> I mean, we had a bunch of different paths and shit, right? That could happen. Clue. On the DVDs, yeah. Yeah, I actually have it. It's got three alternate endings. Yeah, I have the DVD at my parents' house. So whenever you went to see it in the theater, it would randomly choose one of the three. Oh, really? Yeah, they would pick one and show you one. Oh, that's badass, dude. It is. That's really cool. It makes people probably go fucking see it more, dude. Geniuses. I always laugh at the part with the messenger coming in the door and then she just gets fucked. Last part. Where are we going? The drugstore? It's like Viagra, man. Yo, you buy tofu at the drugstore, man? Soy is a potent drug. Soy boy. Are you drinking soy? I'm drinking wawa. It's gluten free water. <laughs> what? <laughs> I get. I, that's got to be a joke. I'm 100 percent sure it's a joke. 99 you laugh, but yeah. uh, diet there's water. Actually, I love diet there's water. Actually, water that is advertised as gluten. No! Oh shit! I love diet water. That kills the man when I see that at the store. I'm like, are you fucking shitting me? What even is gluten? Like, what is the, the advertised, like, buzzwordy definition for gluten? It's like just the protein don't. that's in wheat. I feel like most people don't even know, they're just like, oh, I'm supposed to not want gluten, because I'm a fucking hipster. Yahoo! I mean... Gluten... I'm sure there's some... The gut. 
I'm sure there's some real reasons, but like, let's be real, it's, it's more of a fad, I feel like, at this point. Yeah. It's not as big a deal as people are pushing it to be. There's yeah. nothing really wrong with eating it. If you're, if you got celiac disease, then yeah. Yeah. But. There's definite disorders. But if you're eating bread, the protein you're getting out of bread is gluten. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Shit, dude. Gluten gets used in vegetarian food. So do people not eat it because it's supposed to be unhealthy, or is it more of like a vegetarian type of like weird like moral reason? I don't see why it would be any kind of morality involved. There, I, I don't even know why people wouldn't eat gluten. I don't get it. I feel disease. like it's an advertising, like a food advertising scheme going on. It's the, I, it's the same thing with gen genetically modified foods. Like for some reason, people are indoctrinated to think that they're not supposed to eat GMOs but there's not really a problem. Yeah. Like, if anything, eating those is better for you. You don't want to eat stuff that's like doused in preservatives or natural, weird additives, bro. sure. Like, don't, don't eat stuff that's been like fucking coated in arsenic or whatever else, but yeah. GMOs, it's not even an issue. People don't want to think that hard about it. They just see the surface level shit and just roll with it. I mean, maybe I'm an exception. I went to college for this kind of thing. I mean, I feel I like know. if you think about it a little. I mean, I didn't go to college for that kind of shit, and it's like yeah, I'm not getting caught up on it a bit. If you get caught up in the marketing schemes and the buzzwords and like the fad shit, I'm like maybe it's not natural, so it can't be good. Yeah. Science like is what a kills sin. me what kills me is these people that are against big companies and say don't eat GMOs. And I was like, man, companies do a lot of bad shit. GMOs is not even one of them. Like they don't even understand the process of how selective breeding to sustain food occurs in the first place. That's more random than GMOs and they don't even think that. They just go, "Oh, well, Natural is better. Right. I think this this appeal to nature fallacy argument. Yeah. All right, so far, my OS, like Windows 10, um, pretty sleek. I don't mind the appearance of it. Oh, yeah? You didn't tinker too much with it? And it's just the default look after the telemetry shit's done, or what? Oh, no, I've tinkered with a lot. I took out the Cortana search bar, disabled everything I don't like, I changed the color of it. Can you just do all that right there? Or do you need tools for it? Oh yeah, I haven't installed anything to do this. Cool, I'll be doing the that. The most then. I did was um, I actually um, went into the registry and changed a value that allowed telemetry from one to zero. That's the only weird thing I've done. Cool. The rest has been just me um, setting things on my start menu that I want in like little icons, so it's very quick to get to. Mm-hmm. Like, I've got malware bytes, my control panel, foobar, iTunes, Audacity, Paint, Paint.net, OBS, Chrome, Steam, Discord. Boom, all right there. Mm -hmm. Good. Just in little old squares. And it's all in green because I got to choose. I got, I got to choose. I got to choose my color. That's good. 
I just, I'm looking forward to getting rid of, like, the arrow theme and all that shit. It'd be nice. All mommy Facebook bloggers suck. Yeah. People who want to talk more than think, man. Remember the time you were a bad boy? Fucking come on. Were you a bad boy, Goto? Fucking punk ass kid. Goto was at the fucking front of the class, man. I sat in the fucking back. His hands put together, I always sat in the back. What the fuck, dude? I'm gonna sit in the back no matter what. I was in the back, that's where I come from. Not even because, like... I just, I just go, like, in the back on the sides. Yeah. Not even because I didn't want the attention. I just like being able to look at everybody. And just kind of sit there. It was more comfy. And I would sit in my seat sideways. Oh, yeah. I'd lean my back against the wall and shit. Put my feet up sometimes if I could. And I'd handstand when I need to, man. Fat bastard, Oishi. The damn cream puffs. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm not even in the fucking game yet. Like the actual dialogue in this music's already started. Like a sick fucking joke. Oh. <laughs> he laughs. He laughs. I laugh only Goda would laugh. Favorite horny show on last night? 
Nude, I love that. <laughs> in this, I love that. Oh, sorry. I mean, and uh, I don't mean that. In well, you in, don't like that, man. Uh, in Umineko, there's a uh, some backgrounds that are like straight out of Higurashi. Hey, they're actually Higurashi. Hey. Like this cafe. You're save money, man, and then you can write it off as reference. I don't mind it. But about the horny shows. I don't even think it's the line. I think that Meon's just pretty, pretty decent. When did she shoot me with her gun? No oh, wait, she don't have it. Two victims. Oh. 
Here we go again, boys. Yo, the Kyrie sprite with her turning her face away from the camera. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Kyrie is pretty good. She ain't bad. These songs sound a little bit different than they did in the Steam version. I don't know if it's just because they are a little different, like variants, or if it's just the way it is. Placebo, man? What? What do you mean by it's just the way it is? I mean like it's just like encoded a bit differently. Oh, okay. Do you have animated rain and shit now? Yeah. Yeah. But the Windows 800 by 600. Ah! My immersion. What do you have as your wallpaper? Do you have like a black wallpaper at least? Or? I have a stream in the background. Oh, so you can't even... Yeah, I run Twitch in a full screen, no. and I just like layer stuff on top of it. I have Steam below it. I never see my desktop. You always keep a nice clear view of my face, Goto. No, I'm gonna run that with Discord. <laughs> what? Because, dude, like, Discord has a minimum size enforced. Yeah. And I fixed this before by changing a settings file. I tried looking in my new install of Discord, and it doesn't have that settings file, so I copied it over to the same place it should go, and I reset Discord, and nothing. So I, I have a I have an enforced minimum size for Discord now that's kind of large, and yeah, I don't like it. Mine's like a little over a third of my screen. Yeah, I had mine like real tiny in my bottom left corner, and now it's like wide. Yeah, I don't like it. So I have to like fit it in between because I have like five, six, seven windows yeah. for my stream, so I have to fit it in there somewhere. I am about I have to, be able to, to see get messages. a bigger monitor like on Tuesday, so it won't be as big a deal. Tony, dude, Just put one above, man. Uh, Pull one at your feet or behind you and just spin around. I need to move it all next to my bed. It's like mount monitors on the walls everywhere. Yeah, dude. You just lay they're in your bed wireless. and they're like above you, man. Oh. You're just always sleeping. <laughs> you feel asleep all the time, dude. Put them on my fan. Ugh. That's pretty much what I do. Dude, yesterday when I put that pillow underneath my fucking knees. I was like a fucking Eskimo. It was amazing. Can't do it during the streams, I'll fall asleep. Isn't this inconsistent right here? Mm -hmm. um, Rudolph and Kyrie are in this city and they're talking about how they want to extort money out of Kraus. Didn't Kyrie not even know that Rudolph needed to extort money until later? Wasn't she completely unaware of his big problem? 
are they just like talking in general about extorting money? This is stuff that can actually be answered. I don't mind if this is answered. Um, I was pretty Ooh, sure that clarifying? at the family, huh? If she knew at the family conference or not? Yeah, I don't think she knew at the family conference that he needed money. I guess they're just talking about like extorting it in general and not extorting it for a certain purpose here. Yeah, I'm just, just fucking keep going. Uh, 